We're about to check out a modern architectural pad high upon a hill with views over the Palm Desert. Perfect for pool parties in the summer, cocktail parties by the pool in the winter, this is a home for those who love the good life. Being born and raised in Palm Springs as my family's residence is right down the street, I would always look up at the hill and always wonder what is up there? Because it just looks like it's always perched at the, at the end of the hill, right? Some castle or something like that, right? That's what I always thought it was. I thought it was a castle. And so finally coming up here for the very first time, I was just blown away when I drove up the driveway and came up here and saw the exclusive pool and then seeing the view was just shocking. So the house was meticulously renovated, a complete renovation in 2004. And some of the features that this property, this estate, La Piedra contains is from the unique travertine flooring that is not only inside but continues throughout the, in all the patios around the pool. The lighting which is just you touch one button and the whole house either turns on to a certain mood or setting to the setting where you can just turn it all off when you leave. So the some of the unique features just identify our clients attention to detail. So, I mean, how did you get involved in this, in this project? Well, I have been, as a hobby, I started out doing things small scale and kind of worked my way up. And this, uh, this was the fifth house that I've done here in Palm Springs. Now, Frank, you don't live here, do you? I did for 10 years. Is that right? I didn't want to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I got so attached to it that uh, I had offers. Uh, in fact, uh, I had uh, offers of uh, two million plus over what we're asking for it now. Wow! And um, I just couldn't part with this one when he when he got finished. It was. So, what is it, Frank, about this house that you love so much? Oh, it's it's just the feel. I mean, it's it's big and beautiful, and it's got a lot of the natural stone and stuff. But uh, to me, it has a soft feel. And, uh, and the view, the whole outside comes inside. Well, you've got 360 degree view here. Exactly, which is very, very unusual. This home's outdoor living space has been designed for the glorious sun all year round. As Palm Springs has more than 350 days of sunshine with less than five inches of rain per year, winter temperatures often average in the 70s. That's why this destination is enjoyed by sun seekers from all over the globe. The name of this property of this estate is La Piedra. Translated, it means the stone. To that end, there is over 700 tons of Idaho quartz surrounding inside and out this property. Um, now, it wasn't quite like this when you bought it, was it? Tell us what you've done since you, since, what well, was it like when you first got it? The, the history on the house is uh, the, the architect, Gettings, uh, got into it for David Jansen. And they put most of the stonework in well, one thing you have to think about is how do you get all this stone up here? When you look at the slopes, it had it was all brought up in little shuttle cars in the driveway and then carried the rest of the way in drywall buckets. The house had almost 700 tons of this Idaho quartz stone in it. And I've added another 60 plus. I fell in love with the place. It wasn't, I didn't want to do anything quite that ambitious. But what happened, the realtor at the time, uh, I was looking for a lot over here to build one on. And I drove by and I commented on it. And uh, well, that was on the market for a long time. I'll, I'll call and see if we can get you in to see it. So what she did was a great job. She dropped me off up here with a bottle of red wine, <laughs> cheese and crackers and uh, sat me out by the fire pit, and she left and didn't come back for almost two hours. <laughs> and that's why you fell in love with the place. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, waking up in the master suite, 
I would probably want to wake up extra early because you have this amazing glow from the sun rising. You get all types of colors. You get purple, you get orange, you get red, you get yellow. It is such a spectacular view of the San Jacinto Mountains and you can see everything in between. You can see the golf courses, you can see the windmills of Palm Springs, and it's just such a peaceful, majestic view. This, um, the round roof, and the whole circular room here. Just talk us through that. Well, this was here. This is part of the, the architect. And the, the beams are another part of kind of his signature type items, the way he's done some things, uh, as well as a lot of stone. I mean, if you stay here, spend the night or so, wake up in the morning with that sun that I told you about, sit out there in the evening by the fire pit, it's like no place you've ever been before. Talk us through the, um, the views and how you use these, these um, balconies. First off, uh, the, the, the view that everybody thought was going to be the better view uh, would be with the sunset coming down and looking off into the distance to the west. And I almost put the kitchen on that side. Uh, except I decided the best thing to do was to stay here for a month before I did anything. And then I realized that the best place for this kitchen was over on this side for the outdoor. And we've got this tremendous view down valley and over this way. And not only that, 99% of the time when we get a little bit of wind and breeze, it goes up that way and whips around. So we're, we're sheltered over on this side. So. Um, we took our time to figure out what goes where and how, and spent a lot of time out on the patios. Um, golfing, there's a bit of golfing to, have, to be had here as well, isn't there? The roofs were just uh, at, on both sides, the guest house and over the garages. Yeah, that was a really ugly uh, ceramic tile, a very inexpensive ceramic tile. And you just looked out there, you got plenty of patios, so what did you want to look at a roof for? Not that many people that I have come and visit are avid golfers, but obviously they all became great putt-putt. <laughs> There's a pool here as well. Well, the neat part about the pool that, that, that I find is obviously most pools today don't have that kind of depth. At the, at the far end, it's 10 foot, and there's a cave under the step and you can go through the waterfall into the cave. It's lighted and there's seating in there. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, that was, that was a real plus. Well, Frank, thank you so much for showing us around. It, it was just an absolute delight to see your wonderful house. Well, Congratulations. I appreciate it.